Okay, now uh, let's continue from where we left off in the motion part two. Now it's motion part three. We're still on the concept of a momentum, all right? And we were trying to solve the problem number 21 from pretest. We already gone this far. And the problem says there's a production line of meatballs. Well, the ball produced will be two amps each. And the two meatballs already shoot out. Already shot out. And then they're stuck on the rail. And then because of the gravy and they stick together, but uh, they're not moving. All right, they're not moving. Then the third meatball came out, right? Shoot onto the rail and then move forward and hit the two already sitting down there waiting. And then the gravy, the sticky gravy, move all three to get it forward. Now, the third meatball shoot out before the collision has a velocity right here is 0.05 meter per second. The other two sit on the rail, number one before collision and then number two before collision was zero because they are set on there resting, right? So the only thing moving with a momentum path value is the third ball. The first two has zero because the velocity was zero. So m times v equals zero, right? So it's clear. Now this amount of momentum from two amps as the mass of the third ball and the velocity 0 0.05 meter per seconds, the pro product of the multiplication will be the total amount of momentum, right? So this momentum will be kept, it, right? Constant because the law of conservation of a momentum and it will completely transferred into the motion of the three ball stuck together. What's the mass? Three times two amps. So total will be six amps. Am I right? So but we should not go that far by just plugging the number, I already say it. We do not play plug-in. That is a bad method of learning science. Let's set up the equation suitable for this situation. So the equation should be, according to the law of conservation momentum, the momentum at the before is gonna be the rule, right? Before, right? Equals, what? Equals the, uh, Rule for not ball number one plus rule for ball number two plus rule for ball number three, correct? And then this should be equal. That's the before, before, before. Then it should equal the rule, the sum of the rule, which is the momentum of uh, ball number one after plus the ball number two after plus the ball number three after equal the total amount of uh, momentum of the total after momentum after the collision, correct? Now, we know the first two zero, right? These two zero. So these two can be ignored, cancel as zero. So only thing left is the momentum for before the collision is the momentum only from the the third ball, all right? So now we apply this into what? The momentum for third ball, the mass. The mass, right? The mass, right? The mass. And for the third ball, right? Before, right? Should equal, when these three ball combined, right? They're moving forward at the synchronized the same velocity. So the velocity will be one instead of three. So, but the mass will be the addition, the sum of three. So we should, right? Now here is not, you know, multiply the, multiply the velocity, right? Multiply the velocity of the three, the third ball, all right, before the collision, correct? And equal, the mass will be the mass one, right, after, plus mass two after, plus mass three after multiply the combined synchronized velocity called the velocity, right, after. That's what we talk about. That's what we're looking for, correct? We're looking for. Now, since the mass doesn't change, these three are two, two ounce each, and here two ounce, so you have here, meatball is two ounce, let's put 2.0, as lots of students 
very picky about the decimals. All right, now we put down there and the multiply for the parenthesis and multiply the velocity is what? 0 0.05 meter. That's the print. All right, it's not italic per second. And per second, and the units we use the parenthesis. And this should equal what? Should equal all these three add up. So you basically multiply three, right? So 2.0 amps, right? Right? Times three, because three of them, if you use a bracket, right? That's the mass for all three. And then multiply the velocity after they all synchronized, same velocity move forward. That's the same velocity. So here, now we have something we are able to work. We are able to cancel. On both sides, equal sign, what term is identical? Well, amps, right? Amps are identical, correct? So we cancel the amps, cancel the amps on both sides, correct? Now, we are able to cancel the two. Re remain three. So the two also can be cancelled, right? Which is a blue. Simplified equation, correct? The blue, the two cancel. So three is the only variable and uh, it's the constant. We can move to the other side. We'll find a VA, which is after the collision. So what do we do? Normally you say, okay, we divide by three on both sides and cancel three, three, and then... No, we don't do that. I said already, we do what? We do our own way called cross division instead of cross multiplication. So we move the three, right, the three right here, right, to the bottom of the left side of equal sign. So divide this 0 0.05 by the three. You see that red color, All right? Now we find the answer for VA after collision. That's you can switch it, all right? Let's just switch it. So the VA, oh, we put it here. Save some space. The V after collision will be one third of what? 0.05 meter per second. So it's going to be 0 0.016. Keep on moving because it's the uh, repeating. And we run up to seven. What is that? Meter per second. Now that's the solution. That's the answer of it. And what is the answer? We choose in one multiple choice A, B, C, D, E, which is A in this particular test. Any questions? If you have, call me 601-421-2667. I'll answer anytime, even the midnight, okay, for this crisis, the situation of uh, the virus crisis. All right, so we finished one. Now that's just one situation. Now we have more. Now this is what? So far we talked about one object being hit by, uh, was not moving, resting on the uh, ground or on the rail, and hit by the second object with the momentum, right? And then uh, that's one situation. Another situation is, right, both were moving. Right? And then one is moving slower, the other one is moving fast, so catch up and hit the one moving slower. And then uh, the momentum for each individual moving object suddenly changed right after the collision, correct? The moving slower getting a little faster, the fast moving object, because it hit the slower moving object, will lose some of its move momentum to the slow motion slow moving object and itself will slow down, right? So you have two different kind of a, a velocity after collision. The mass of course doesn't change. That's the second situation. The third situation is, all right, third situation is, all right, uh, one is moving slower, one is moving faster, and then after hit each other, like the car on the rail, they hook the boom, boom, they hit First car moving slower, the second car behind is moving faster, and then hit the first car in front and then hooked up. Engage. Did they move slower, right? Maybe the velocity is going to be in between the slow velocity and the fast velocity of two moving 
cars and then we'll have a medium velocity moving together but clearly hooked up. That's a third situation, right? And uh, we can see that. And th there's another situation is if you have one object, say it's a railroad cord, and it sits at the beginning of a Y shaped split of the rail track, and then uh, resting on there, and then the second car has a velocity coming to the back of the first car and hit it, and then the second car, no, the first car starts moving from resting, but goes to the left, and then the, the second car hit, after hit, and they go separate way to the right, like a Y shape. They have separate different velocity, but mass doesn't change, right? So we have all these situations, see what we can do, a couple of them. All right, so let's see if we can make up one more example, right? Let's say uh, a card, right? A card of let's just try that. Of let's say uh, sixty thousand kilogram, right? Right. Uh, resting on rail right on rail all right being being uh, hit by right a second card Right from behind right? No, no, no. Let's should should change this. This is gonna be better. You hit from behind. Right? By The second car, another car, by another card of what eighty thousand kilogram, right? Eighty thousand kilogram. All right, and. Uh, Sitting on and uh, start it moving. It's at rest, the first one right at a velocity. That's the work. Oh, there should be also this. Uh, Give a velocity also. So at 10 meter per second. Right. Let's put it this way. After collision, the first cart, which is 60,000 kilo, right? Start it. Moving, right? Start moving at a velocity of all right, eight meter per second, right? right. And uh, find what would be the velocity of second car, right? Uh, run out of second car after collision. All right, after collision.
We have all the information we need. We have the velocity for the second card, right? We have the velocity for the first card. Of course, that's zero. Now we don't have to go through all these details. We can simply think about the equation and then uh, uh, plug in all these known value. If you still want to make a list that's a good hobby, you can do it. Right? I'm not forbid you to do that. Right? All right. So do whatever you think is suitable for yourself. All right? So the solution. All right, solution. All right, solution. Answer. All right. So you make a list, it's fine. So the uh, let's say mass one equals sixty thousand kilogram mass two right equal eighty thousand kilogram right and uh, and the velocity one before right is zero because right zero meter per second because it's not moving does not move at all and the velocity 2 before is 10 meter per second, right? And then the after the uh, after the collision, right? After collision, the uh, velocity 1 after become what? It says at of 8 meter, 8 meter per second. Then we want to know the velocity 2 after collision is how much, right? So that's the situation. Now, according to the conservation law of momentum, the momentum before and after collision will be the same if the rail is free, is friction free, right? So that's the situation we're assuming. So you have the before, let's put on the left and after on the right. Or we can do either way if you want to switch the uh, side of uh, final. So we say M1 before time V1 before add M2 before time V2 V before equals M1 after time velocity one after plus the m2 after multiply velocity two after correct right. now we plug in all these before we plug in we need simplify the equation if there's anything we are able to take that because it's zero right so the m1 which is what? 60,000 kilo set their resting before collision, correct? So this velocity is zero, so this one is gone. Only have this one. Now, this one, they both have, but we don't know is the, what is the velocity of the second car after collision. So this is the unknown. This is the unknown we don't know. But this is the known, the eight, right? So, so before we plug in the, the numerical value, we do the simplification of the equation. That is the best way. All right, simplify and make it clear. So we move this term from the right to the left, right? All right, so keep the velocity two after collision is positive, right? Otherwise, if we're shifting around, we can switch afterwards, the whole thing. So move this to the, the other side. What do we do? We call shifting terms. I'll repeat and repeat and repeat over and over again until you all got it into your head, all right? Because in this country, you don't do that. You were not taught that way. Your teacher didn't know. You don't know. Your teacher teacher didn't know. So you did not know that. You go all these small steps so slow, take longer time and make more mistake along the way. And it's not as simple as this. So we just know this by any law in mathematics. This term moves to the other side, the equal sign, change the sign, S-I-G-N, sign, from positive to negative. That we still value. So we have this right here. So you have, copy this down, mass 2B, multiply velocity 2B before collision. 
subtract this one goes to the other side change to minus so subtract m1a the a or f collision okay and the velocity 1a all right subtract this one this subtract and then the left over is this one but this one this term this term is known we can simply divide into we call cross division so you divide this term go under what here so what happened so we have this under the line right and then uh, we just uh, put what take this out take this out because it's move shift the top here already so we're gonna have what mass 2a that's it now that is going to be what? It's going to be the V to A. The whole equation, which, which is going to be much, much simpler and uh, clearer. So we plug in. You want to switch it. We switch it this way. Now, listen and watch. I did not rewrite it. <laughs> Same time. Switch this way. Put this term right here. Mass to V, right? Mass to is what? Mass to is 80,000. So 80 thousand kilo correct kilogram right multiply what velocity two after and uh, before the collision before the collision is what right two is ten meter per second ten meter per second right subtract subtract m1 m1 is what oh uh, 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 that's m2 m2 is what m2 is 80 m160 right? kilo Right, here uh, and then the uh, velocity moving to say the first one starts start to moving at eight. So multiply eight meter per second. Print this if you want to. Now put a line under. All these terms belong to the numerator. Alright, the, uh, uh, the mass two A is gonna be the denominator. Mass two. 80,000 miles, right? 80,000 80, kilo. Kilogram. Correct? Now, look. We are able to cancel. The kilogram and the kilogram you can factor out, right? And uh, this kilogram, they're all the same, so you are able to cancel kilogram, 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 is all. Left over, these two. Mass over uh, meter over second, meter over second is the velocity units. You can factor out, put it behind. And in front, we have what? We have 80,000, 60,000, right? And the four zero, we are able to cancel this out. Right? So this whole thing will simplify down to what? It simplifies down to this. Eight times ten. Time 10, right? Don't forget 10 down here. Minus 6 times 8, right? Over 8. Correct? Now, do we have something else? Meter per square second stays because a unit for velocity, correct? All right? This is dried out. Gosh, so quick. But 8, the 8, we all have 8, and these, these two 8 can be factored out. So 10 minus 6. But this, the factor out, right? If you don't, if you don't see it, I can do that for you. Eight is gonna be out inside of the ten minus six, right? And the meter per square seconds over eight. Am I right? Now you are able to see clearly the eight and the eight are same. Numerator denominator, denominator, you are able to cancel them. Become what? Become not zero. Become one, right? Become one. So it's ten minus. 6 equal what? 10 minus 6 equal 4, right? Well, <laughs> you have to know that. If you don't know that, oh, that is a big problem. Hopefully, you don't have that problem. So, the velocity for the what? For the second vehicle, a second car, after collision, it dropped. Dropped the what? Dropped from 10 meter to 4 meter per second. All right. That's the solution. That's the answer. So we finish this problem, right? Finish this problem. All right, and then uh, 
we should still have a lot of time. All right, have four. So let's see another another possible situation. I said, could be two objects, so far we talked about one object or one car is resting, not moving, its momentum before the collision is zero. Now let's make another situation. So another example, example, right? A card, right, of 40, thousand kilogram right was moving was moving right on the rail right before a Y split Right, a Y split. Now, what is the Y split? We're gonna let me, uh, let me, let me, let me just uh, keep on going. And uh, at a velocity of two meter per second, very slow, right? And then. A second card right, of 80, let's say 80,000 kilo, you can change any number you want, of a mass, right? Behind it, all right, hit the first card, right? All right? Uh, from behind, right, at a velocity, and that velocity is brought to the uh, 80,000 car before collision, right, of, let's say, 10 meter, it doesn't matter what kind of value you want to put in, uh, velocity. Then, and then, and then, right, uh, moves, right, uh, onto the right hand split, right, right hand split at a velocity of six meter per second. All right. So you have this eighty thousand second card before hitting was running ten meter per second. After the collision is not stuck to the first car because the first car is moving this way, and the Y split moving left, and then the second car moving to the right. Now find the velocity for the second car. After collision, equal how many meter per second? All right. So the first car was slow moving along this trail, uh, this rail. Let me, uh, let me. Uh, uh, time's almost up. But so uh, we can make a list. We continue the second uh, part of this, and then we also get into energy. But we are only got uh, thirty seconds left. So the answer, of course, as we do all the time, make a list of known, right? Right? Now the mass doesn't change, right? The mass doesn't change at all, but then the velocity changed. The first car was moving to and out of the hit, right? Uh, let me see, that's not, that's not second car, that's the first car. One, after the collision, the first car, which is 40,000, and what's the velocity of the car? So time's up, and then uh, let's see.